Oh folks, the dam is about to burst. Before we get into this video though, as always, you're gonna save time and money the next time you purchase a car. Link to my car buying guide in the description down below. And then some of the information provided in today's video comes from Cox Automotive. Let's get into it. Well, today's video is full of drama. If you are someone who is shopping for a car, some of this information will be positive. If you are someone who sells cars for a living, this information is about to be really positive for you. So let's start with the used car market, go over the new car market, and kind of tie everything together. Within the used car market, there are 2.27 million vehicles available for sale. This was as of the beginning of this month. That's a 44-day supply. 25,151 is the average listing price. 70,000 miles is the average mileage amount on used cars. So used car supply, has become more constrained. There are fewer used cars available, but the prices are still going down. So used cars are not as readily available, but they're more affordable. That's something that's important to note. Now within the new car market, 2.74 million units available, 76 days supply. So bigger day supply than what we have in the used car market. Average listing price, just over $47,000. So there are actually fewer new cars available because the day supply number was over 80 days very recently. So now there are fewer new cars available and the prices are about the same. Now Cox Automotive always puts together an affordability graph and they show that the average new car now costs about 37.1 weeks worth of income for the average uh, American household. So what that means is that new cars are becoming even more affordable. Again, the ideal range is between you know 32 to 36 weeks. So we're like getting into that ideal range on the new car side of things. Now, the next thing to note about the new car market before we kind of tie things back in with the used car market are the differences with brands. There's still a really big difference depending on the brand. So again, you know, brands like Toyota and Honda don't have a lot of inventory. Toyota has a 34 day supply. And I'm pretty sure 31 of those 34 days are Toyota Tundras because it seems like those uh, trucks have been stacking up on lots. The truck market has been kind of soft um, but yeah, I mean, you've got the usual suspects with no inventory. I shouldn't say no, but little inventory. Toyota, Honda, Lexus, Land Rover, Kia, Cadillac, Chevrolet, etc. Now on the side of massive amounts of inventory, again, usual suspects. Ram, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Lincoln, Genesis, Volvo, Infiniti, Nissan, and uh, Ram, Chrysler, Jeep, and Dodge, which are uh, all under one roof typically with the dealership, have twice the day supply number of the you know the industry average. So they've got they've got a lot of inventory and you're starting to see those discounts with those brands just continue to increase. So there is still a brand difference. Uh, for those of you that are out shopping for cars, understand that with some brands there might be huge discounts like with the Ram truck. Whereas with the Toyota, there might not be any discount on some of the product. Just depends on how much supply is available with the product that you are looking into purchasing. Now I want to tie everything together with what is happening. So the used car market, why are prices going down at the same time that inventory is going down? And I think it just comes down to what we are seeing happen with the trade-in market. So again, you have to remember over the last few years, we didn't see nearly as many cars sold as what we typically see. So that means that we have fewer cars, you know, for the last couple of years to be traded in. And so during this same time of the year where you see a lot of people buying cars, you see a lot of people trading in cars, those cars don't exist. And so since there are fewer cars that are, you know, one, two, three, four years old compared to what we, you know, typically see in a market, that means that the used car inventory is going to be scarcer. And again, we've also talked about how there's just a lot of crappy cars out there. And so they kind of get taken out of the market because they just, they aren't worth selling, right? They just go to the junkyard. There is that too. But the biggest thing is there's just not as many of these two, three, four year old trade-ins that we normally expect. So then you think, okay, supply and demand, the prices should be going up, right? No, the prices aren't gonna go up because of what's happening in the new car market. The new car market has over the last several months seen the biggest amount of inventory that it has seen since before the, almost before the pandemic, not quite, but we're getting there. 
And so what that means is we're seeing big discounts on new cars. And with these big discounts on new cars, that's going to put downward pressure on the prices on used cars because you have a situation now where if a new car is a certain price, well, the used car better be less than that or it doesn't make sense, right? It doesn't make sense to the market. Nobody's gonna pay new car prices for a used car. It just, that's logic. So that's where the prices are getting pushed down. And now this is where we dive into the unknown. And the reason why I call it the unknown is, you know, obviously nobody can predict the future, but with these trends, what is most likely going to happen moving forward? And I think it's something that, again, like I said, dealerships are gonna love, people that are shopping for a car, not so much. Buying demand over the last, you know, few weeks has already increased. And this, you know, happens pretty much every single year during tax time. But we're at like that critical point, again, of affordability with new cars. New cars are almost there. They're almost there to where they are in that normal range of affordability. And, you know, I don't think it's going to happen instantly as soon as they get to that 36 week range where boom, people are just going to buy like crazy. But what you're seeing is people are now looking at these prices and they're going, oh man, and that's not too bad, right? They're going, it's, it's more expensive than it was in the past, but it, you know, that's kind of, that's what I'm hearing from people anecdotally is they're like, oh, the prices, they're getting a little bit more on the reasonable side of things. And so we're kind of, kind of at critical mass, I guess you could say. And so what this is most likely going to look like is, you know, we're going to see just a little bit more discount turned on in the new car market over the next few months because inventory is still a little bit higher than what dealerships want, a little bit higher than what manufacturers want. They want to be close to that 60 day supply. And once that gets turned up just a little bit more, then you're going to see tons of people come in and buy. And so this basically represents what could, I'm not saying it is, but what could potentially be the bottom for the market because once these people come in and buy and again we're already seeing the trickling coming and you could so you could see this as you know here in utah right we've got the snow melt every year this is like the early spring melt where you've got some stuff trickling to the streams before you have you know the floods that happen during certain parts of spring because you've got the big melt off and so i think right now we're seeing the tricklings of people coming in you know more people coming in and buying cars before we see the flood of people come in when they go you know what i've waited for one year two years three years it's affordable enough it works within my budget it's time to buy whether or not it's the bottom right they're like i don't care it's time to buy i've waited long enough and then again, once that inventory gets bought up, then you're in a situation where the manufacturers again have some level of pricing power. And so I think after that, then we're not gonna see like a huge increase in prices. I'm not gonna pretend like that's gonna happen. I think what we will see though is a back to the normal market where we're selling you know, more cars, you know, 16, 17 million units a year, and prices are just incrementally increasing over the course of every single year. So you know, maybe a price increase of half a percent or 1% per year, depending on the product. And so a little bit of a return to normal, but not the best news for those of you that think that we're gonna have cars that are 50% less expensive than they are today. Let me know what you think. I'll see you.